I was praying, I was reading Quran, and was always busy with that religion. Yeah. I was following like as a background. Yeah. But came to the point when I tried to search, study, read about whatever said it because I found a lot of things doesn't come with this life. Then I studied, I read it a lot, came back to Quran to study, but with different points, different different view. Yeah. Then I found at all that if there's a creation, mm. creator, yeah. God or Allah let us say, whatever, is a symbol of love, mm. symbol of forgiveness, symbol of peace. How he sent such a messages to the people to kill others. The people who him create them. Yeah. Who him make them atheist or as written so, Quran. So, so basically you're saying um, you what made you question Islam was that you looked at the Quran and what it spoke about and Allah, you understood that Allah created everyone and predestined them to what their actions will be. And you questioned if this is a God that should be of love, how can he punish people and kill people when he's the one who made them who they are? Because father, yes. when he has a children, yeah. even the, one of the children being naughty or they are not happy with his behavior, yeah. he never ever say to their son, brothers or sister to kill. Yeah. He may be don't talk to them, yeah. to that, that child, but yeah. not killing them. But yeah. Quran say, kill them. Yeah. Okay. And in Quran say that Jesus, for example, or mm. Moses, or Abraham, is all prophet from Allah. Mm. So whoever following him, yeah. this is not wrong. They follow prophet, you prophet, you yeah. create that prophet. Now why are you telling Muslim to kill them now? Yeah. What's this contradiction? And this was also written in the tablets as well our destiny so it doesn't make sense why Allah would destine us to this okay and then you you say that Quran yes is written in the the tablet eternal tablet. creation of the world yeah Quran it is written at that time yeah it means before at least let us say before this Abrahamic religion yeah Judaism Christianity and others Okay, why from beginning he didn't send Quran so all the humanity from beginning from Adam and Eve up to now all of Muslim and there was no any problem. Yeah. Why he remain wait, 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 all these Christian, create all these Christian, all these Judaism, then create Muslim and Muslim kill all others. Yeah. What's this? What's that? That's mm. not a religion. That's why I came to this conclusion. That made me this is not a religion. Yeah. This is human made. It is politics, it is economy. So would you say Muhammad is the best example for mankind? His behavior, what did you like or dislike his behavior? I, th I think, I think Muhammad is the most, it is, he is number one ruined the humanity. He ruined humanity. Hitler did it, Yeah. but he's not number one. Mm. Caesar did it, but not number one. Yeah. Let us say, uh, uh, Moses did it, for example. Mm. As our all us human being, there's mm. a lot of human. They made a lot of mistakes. That's mm. interesting. Though. Why not Musa? Because Musa spoke to Allah a lot. Why is no, he not the best? No, 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 no. We're talking about the worst one. Oh, worst. Okay. So the worst one to humanity, to the human, to the history, is Muhammad. Mm. Because of his instruction, his messages to his people nowadays until now. Okay. Sadly, Muslim people, they blame in Israel, they blame in America, mm. they blame in Nasrani, Christian, all this trouble in in Muslim area. Yeah. All Muslim area. Okay my friend. Israel is exist in fifty years, mm. not more than that. Yeah. America, Britain is 200, 300 years. Mm. But it is 1400 years you killing each other. Yeah. And you killing others. And also killing other Muslims and others, yeah, I don't know. 
okay. So that is not that's not message from Allah or from God, let us say, mm. from Creator. So you think God should be more loving in His relationship to humanity? God, God is when you say God. Yeah. Simple example, let us say, as I say, father with the family. Yes. This has forgiveness, love, peaceful, try to make the family all together. Yeah. Okay? Doesn't matter whatever ideas they have, mm. whatever gentle they have, sorry, whatever uh, male yeah. or female or whatever it is. Yeah. So you're saying our natural disposition should also, should is exemplified by God because we have children and our automatic inclination towards our children is to love, to nurture and whatnot. And this is how God should be. But then when you look at Allah, he seems to be the total opposite of someone who doesn't love his children and is willing to kill them and it means that, punish them. That idea, yeah. those words, means exactly, no doubt, mm. that these books is human books. It's yeah. not, I mean, Quran or Hadith or whatever it is. It is human made. Yeah. And sadly, sadly, I say, it is from sick person. Mm. Only sick person telling to kill others, yeah. to not respect others. Mm. Okay? So that means this book is not from them. Yeah. And what about um, at the Quran? Did you, did that kind of have any sway, like the differences or contradictions or the differences? Like, how did you view the Quran? If you, if you know Arabic language, but perfect Arabic, not just street language. If you read Arabic Quran, you find a lot of contradiction, a lot of mistakes scientifically. Are you Muslim? Are you Muslim? I used to be Muslim. Yeah, that's it. Okay. You used to be a Muslim? No, no, sorry. Okay. So, even grammatically, and uh, as a language, mm. which is the language of yeah, sorry, go on. The, yeah. the language of Allah, yeah. the language of Allah, mm. the language that, as they say, Muslim, they say, mm. is being created before creation of the world, mm. because Quran is the eternal word of Allah. It is called Azali. It means it is before creation of the yeah. world. Yeah. Arabic is creation of the world. Yeah. Okay, why all this language mistake is grammatically and a word mm. in Quran? Mm. And why there is a lot of contradiction? Mm. So that that as I said, proving to you that this book is not from a creed. Yeah. It is human. Because when you were younger were you taught about one perfectly preserved Quran? Of course. But I didn't know about that one because, to be honest, for us at that time when I was young, there wasn't enough sources mm. because it wasn't allowed. Yeah. The only sources it's allowed is by Muslim. You have to follow that one. Mm. Yes, there was idea. There was one Quran only, mm. but that's not true. Now I found it. Mm. It is more than twelve or more than twelve Quran. Yeah, it's quite like thirty. Even more than 30. I told, I told more than 12. Yeah. At this minute, mm. at least there is three or four of them is available. For example, in Lima is, is Kalon. Yeah. In North Africa is Warsh. Yes. In Saudi Arabia and most of the Arab other countries yeah. is Hafs. Yeah. So what does mean all these differences in Quran? Well, it this is a differences. well, this is a thing. And when we approach Muslims, they say there's one Quran, but many recitations. Then when I ask them, what does the word Quran mean? They say it means recitations. So that means the recitations are Qurans too, and that we have multiple okay. Qurans. Okay. Quran originally that word is not Arabic word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Quran is Syrianic word. Mm, Syriac word. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I ask some questions before I go? I'm gonna go. I just wanna ask some questions. Just on that, on that point. Okay, go on. Okay, can you tell me the six pillars of Iman? Pardon? You are a Muslim, yeah? Yeah. Can you tell me the six pillars of Iman? That's very important. Six what? The six. Pillars of Iman. Should the Salat, the Zakat, the no, Salt, and the Hajj. That's the five pillars of Islam. I said the six pillars of Iman. I don't know what's that. Okay. Okay. 
really a Muslim, no. yeah? Ah, what then do you know everything else then? Do you know everything really else? No, no. Do you know everything else then? I was really Muslim. You see, you don't know no, you're trying to catch him. Do you, you don't know everything no, no, wait, else? Okay. Six minutes of Iman, you didn't know? Don't, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, 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 yeah, don't. That's yeah, a declaration yeah. of faith. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, you know, you are Muslim. Yeah, wait. You, do, you, do you believe in I that? I just want to ask one question. Okay, okay. Do you believe in that there is a lot of Quran? No, 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 no. I got you. What's the six pillars of Iman? I, I, you didn't I know it. I don't know. You don't okay. know it. No, I don't know. So how is you Muslim? Okay, okay. So was you born Muslim? Okay, please. Please. No, him, him. Was you born Muslim? I told you clearly. I don't know. I'm not lying. I thought I don't know. No, but was he born Muslim? Okay, okay. But do you know that? No, 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 no. I'm asking you a simple question. Was he born Muslim? Yes. What's your background? Whatever it is, Muslim. I'm just asking. Where? What country? Where are you from? That's not your problem. That's not your point. I need to understand and I want to understand where you're coming from. But you are Muslim. Alhamdulillah. How many Quran there is? One. You see, you don't understand Islam. At least, at least there is. Do you have much time? Oh yes, so is your figure. He started. Ah, safe. I'll come back. Okay. All right. There is a lot of Quran. At least now it is free. No, no. I'm gonna film him. Yeah, please. I'm filming paperboy. Yeah. So as you're saying. I'm filming him. Yes. I'm filming him. Yes. Yeah. So in terms of the different Qurans. So at least there is more than twelve Qurans. Hmm. If and the. If you, if you go to the book called Kitab al-Masahif Li Abu Bakr al-Sajistani Imam, Imam Muslim Famous Imam Abu Bakr al-Sajistani Big Imam He would tell you how many Quran and what is the difference between them mm. Okay When I found that one How would be word of Allah different things now most of the Muslims say that because the difference is now available is because Quran is different dialect. Yeah. That's why if dialect. dialect. Mm. That's the difference came from there. Okay. Different dialect, <laughs> different word, mm. but same meaning exactly. Mm. That doesn't matter. But what if there is different word, completely different, completely different meaning? It means that is different Quran. Yeah, there we go. Of course. You got it. Yeah. So that is not excuse mm -hmm. that this is these differences in Quran is from different dialect of Arabic language. Yeah. Meanwhile, there is hadith. Not hadith. Even it's so not hadith. It's part read, of the history. You said you had read the works of like Tabari and stuff like that. Y yeah. No, Uthman when he said Uthman Imam Uthman. When he collected Quran, mm. he he collected he found a lot of Quran. Bring, bring. They made one Quran. He burned all the others. Quran, he burned all others. He said because Quran is came with one language. The Quraysh. It's only Quraysh. Mm. If one language, why are you saying that's different dialect? Yeah. Two contradiction things. It means either Uthman is kafir. Because he buried other version of Quran which Muhammad said. Yes. It is seven versions. Seven. Well, yeah, exactly. And that's, that's, that's some of the questions we ask Muslims because when Yasser Qadi said there's holes in the standard narrative, this like man should have known that there were other dialects. So when the armies were fighting each other, he should have said the Quran was revealed in seven dialects. Why are you fighting? But instead, he burned all the other copies and manuscripts and anything that was written and then gave it in the Qureshi dialect which as you say doesn't make sense I'm telling you one thing mm. Usman he did that one yeah. because one of the Sahaba Ibn Masood no Hudayfa bin Yaman he was big Sahaba he was trustful of the Muhammad Prophet Muhammad he came from, he came to, he was in Ghazu. Ghazu, it means Fatah, from Armenia, he came back. He didn't go home, he directly went to Osman's house. He told, be careful, you have to do something because people now all fighting each other because of this differences in Quran. Mm -hmm. One say, my Quran is true, the other say, no, my is true, the other yeah. is my true. So do something. That's why Osman collected all these things, burning all others to make one Quran in order to escape from that 
the crisis. Chris, yeah, criticism. Yes. Yeah. And then the crisis, yeah. But Muhammad, Uthman forgot that Muhammad said it is seven dialogue. Yeah. Because there was a lot of hadith, a lot of hadith. For example, one day in the mosque, Imam Umar for Hisham with Hisham bin yeah. Hakim bin Hisham, and he was reciting the Quran in a different way. Different way. Yes. He was he captured from his what he called this yeah, one. He wanted to tie his neck. His neck yes. and pulling and him, him yeah, to the prophet. And pulling him in that way, how rude it is. Yes. Took him to Muhammad. Yes. He said, Muhammad said, please leave him first. Mm. Leave him first. Leave him alone first. Yeah. What is the problem? He said, he, he read Quran in a version I never heard about that one. Yeah. He said, what is that? Read it for me, Hisham. Hisham, he read it. He said, it's true. Yeah. It is, it is true, yours. He said to Umar, what is your version? Umar read his version. He said, yours also true yeah. because Quran is came in seven mm, yeah. different oh. versions. Well, exactly. And this version. is where Yasser Kadi mm. says. One my question. Mm. Both of them Arab. Hisham is Arab. Mm. And they're from the same tribe. Um, Arab, Umar was uh, same mm. uh, Arab. Yeah. Both of them perfect Arabic. Yeah. Mm. If there is not so much differences, they were not fighting like that. Mm. Yes. That's proof there's big differences, not dialect. Yes, because what you're basically saying is the differences were actually within the words because they, if there was, they were from the same tribe, so they had the same dialect. So the argument could not have been on the recitation in terms of a different dialect, but more based on the words, the different readings. And also what doesn't make sense is if the Muhammad had taught Uthman at that period that there were seven recitations, then why did Uthman then go and burn all the different Qurans to make one Qureshi dialect when he already knew there were seven different recitations and he even burnt, burnt the, um, the Mus'haf of people like Ibn Masud, Ibn Kaib. But we see in the Hadiths that some of their recitations had differences in it as well. There's a lot of Mufassirin, a lot of Imam, yeah. they say Uthman should not did that. Yeah. Even Ibn Taymiyyah, he is like prophet for Salafism. Sheikh al-Islam. Al yeah. Okay, he said, uh, Uthman burned one version of, seven version of Quran. What does it mean that? Mm. It means sickest of whatever ideas, yeah. whatever ayat or surah, is gone forever. Mm. So yeah. how you say is Quran is the same Quran of Muhammad? Well, exactly, and this is the thing, because what many Muslims will do, they will try and disguise all these issues. And this is why if I go to Yasser Qadi, and when he was at, um, I think it was Harvard or Yale, that in Western scholarship, they look at these things in depth, and they're not like Islamic schools where they don't allow you to ask questions. So he said, in conclusion, the Quran cannot then be a letter for letter Tashkil for Tashkil narrative that the later scholars verbalize it's and the Muslim only, Umar is taught. Therefore, preservation must be interpreted in another manner. He also said, How can we then understand the Quran as being Kalam Allah when clearly there are human aspects to it? So, as you're saying, because he's realized that there seems to be human intervention from Uthman burning, changing. Not only that one, my friend. If, 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 if you go to the book, the, after Quran, as Muslims say, yeah. after Quran, there is Muslim, mm. Sahih Muslim and Sahih brother, Bukhari. Brother, yeah. brother, brother. There, is, oh, yeah. brother. there is a lot of hadith mm. in Bukhari yeah. and in Muslim yeah. proving yeah. Yeah. that yeah. Quran yeah. has yeah. been I'm the destruction. <laughs> change it. Yeah. There is, let us say, it is not Quran that they say it, it is same Quran as sent it by Gabriel or same Quran as Muhammad said it. So it means there is, there is a human touch to that Quran. Yes, definitely. Especially. Mm. And especially with the Aharuf. No one seems to be able to explain. What no. the, uh, the kick, so the kira art is as well in relation to the Arabu. Neither, neither 
Muhammad explained that point, even if you look at the history of Islamic culture, you will not find Muhammad himself explain in detail what these ayat or the verses means. In whole, more than more than. Six, more than six thousand, more than six thousand ayah, more than six thousand ayah, is in Quran. He didn't explain what does mean ten of them. Yeah. He was a prophet. Yeah. Okay. He should have explained it to them clearly and in detail. Otherwise, the. My no, friend, we, you, no, no, we're, we're, about, we're, no, 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 but no, later no. we're having a discussion now. No, you didn't no, want to no, answer. No, 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 you didn't want to answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Next time. Don't believe all of them. I'm telling you. That's Be it. Yourself. All right. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Mm. So your reasoning, I think, is what a lot of other people would reason as well. If you had something so profound, the prophet should have taught the companions this in detail. And it shouldn't be later scholars trying to understand backwards, trying to understand how this all fits together. The Prophet should have taught them very clearly, this is what the Qira'at kira is, and this is what the seven Aharuf is. If you go to study about Tabari, Zamakhshari, Sayyuti, Qurtubi, al Baydawi, others, mm. Rarely, mm. not rarely, just, just exaggeration, but in a lot of verses, a lot of ayat, let us say, yeah. they have different explanation to them. Yeah. They are not agree with each other. Mm. And sometimes they are completely against each other. Yeah, they're confused. So that's why Muslim is confused now. Yeah. Everyone will come explain to himself. Mm. She explained in his way. For example, Salafi will come explain to his way. Ba'tazala mm. uh, comes explain it in his way. So it means there is a lot of differences. No one understands that. Mm. And Muhammad didn't explain it. That's why this Ummah is confused. Yeah. Okay, for example, there is. They, they say, the Muslim Sunni, they said that Muhammad is Khatamun Nabiyyin. In Quran, Khatam mm. Nabi, he is the last. Khatam in Arabic means the last, but at the same time it means the ring when you put it in the finger. Mm. Now, Ahmadi Muslim, different type of version. Oh, is it the seal of the prophet? Ahmadi, yeah. Ahmadi, they have their own prophet, yeah. which is Mirza Ghulam Ahmadi. He is from India. Yeah. He said that Quran doesn't mean when he ayah. Mm. doesn't mean that Muhammad is the last prophet, but he means that Muhammad is like a ring, so valuable, yeah. like a ring of the finger. Mm. But doesn't mean that there will be no other prophet. Yeah. I am the new prophet. He became the other prophet. Mm. Then after Ahmad, he asked, nearly the same times in 19th, 19th century, another one came out. He said, no, I am the prophet, yeah. which is Baha'u'llah. Baha'i. Uh, in, is that in Iran? Iran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what does it mean? How if that word of Quran, if the word of God, mm. how everyone come and explain in his way of taking yeah. benefit of that? Yeah, because any that's and the point on that is anyone can be claimed to be a prophet. So obviously as Christians we believe Jesus was the final prophet. Uh, obviously he was God as well, but Yeah, but what, my the, friend, what, the prophet what, should be Yes should be top of example of love and forgiveness and let us say peace yes and that's what we have in jesus christ the perfect example but in muhammad, for humanity yeah muhammad he tried to kill assassination yeah political assassination for a lot of yeah other and even when he died you look at when he died he was poisoned by the jew woman allah never saved him but when jesus died even in the quran he saved him from death so why didn't Allah do the same thing for Muhammad? Okay, that Muslim say it is from Jewish That he was lady, poisoned, yeah. Poisoned by a Jewish lady. Yeah. But that's not true. Because the lady who mm. poisoned him mm. was before four years. At least three, four years. Yeah. 
the poison doesn't work after three war, yeah. years. Yeah. But not my analyzing. Mm. There's scholar now, mm. Muslim scholars, they say that no, killed by closest person, Muslim person, with him in the family. Mm. They poisoned him. Yeah. So you're saying some people say it was he was poisoned by someone within his family. That is their saying. The most so logical, he, yeah. Not my analyzing. Mm. They say that Aisha. Mm. They say that Abu Bakr. Yeah. They say all of them, they were planning this. Mm. Because, because there's hadith that they forced him to have some, they say, medicine. Yeah. Forced him to put it, he didn't want it. Yeah. But they forced him. Yeah. His uncle, his uncle Abbas was there. Mm. Okay. He said after that one, I never forget that they yeah. pushed him to take that medicine which he didn't want it. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Yeah. So, some Muslim people, mm. they analyzed that one was poisoned in that way. Mm. But Jewish lady, it's not true because, as I said, that happened before four years. Yeah. Piece of meat, he ate it, and he didn't eat fully. Yeah, just a bit of it. A bit of that, after yeah. four years, killing him. And the sad is, when he died, they left his body for two days mm. in that hot weather. Yeah. Okay. They should have buried were, him on the same they day. Were, Wrap up. They were fighting Wrap who going to be the leader after that one. Most his friends, mm. like Abu Bakr and Umar and the other Sahaba, yeah. they were in the Bani Saqifa, other house. They were arguing who was going to be the leader. And yeah. they forget his prophet in the house. So they were too busy concerned with burying him according to Islamic tradition, but Some. they were worried about who's going to be the next uh, Khalifa. Some books say that his body became blue yeah. because of hot weather and it's blow up, what do you call it? Bloated. Started. Bloated. Yeah. Like so fat. this is not the befitting end to a prophet so is what, what you're saying. Yeah. What does it mean that it's those Sahaba and those Islam and those... Paper boys here bro. No, I don't pay boys. Cool. He's the, and just he's one, the one other quick question he's the in terms of the, the death of Uthman. That's the yeah. Because some say he was buried in the toilet or with the Jews that... Uthman, let me tell you about Uthman. All right. And then we'll wrap up. And it. then we'll wrap up. That's okay, so it's not filming, brother. It's not filming, it's not filming. It's not filming, brother. Don't, don't, don't yeah, get distracted. Don't, don't, get, don't get distracted. It's not yeah, filming, it's not move filming. Move it, please, move it. Brother. Move it, please. I don't, I don't want to... I, brother, go, Okay, go, come go. here, come here. Okay. Nobody watching his channel anyway. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, about. just because... Hey, brother, the camera, is, the camera is on paper, boy. Don't worry about it. Just, just say what you want to say and then we'll okay. wrap up. Okay. Yeah. First, Muhammad being... What you called? If they they but yeah, what surrounding okay. us? For example, what you call the bur burial? The I don't know. No, no, no. I told him twenty minutes ago. He's got five minutes. Ago. They didn't allow him to come out from his house. Yes. What do you call it? if you do something? Blockade. Huh? Blockade. Blockade for forty days yes. by most famous Sahaba Muslim. Yeah. Anyway, wrap up, wrap up. Wrap up. Do you want to go to the pub? Closing yeah, so we'll wrap up after this, but yeah, if you're understanding. Sorry, 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 sorry. For, for, for 40 days, yeah. by his big, by famous Sahaba, yeah. blocked him for 40 days, not allowed him to come out. He was in his 80s age. They went inside from Baghdad. One, one of them was her. Abu Bakr's son. Mm. Okay, and other close Sahaba with him. His close relation with him. Even the Abu Bakr, Muhammad ibn Abu Bakr, he pulled from bed. Pulling his bed. Osman mm. told him, please leave my bed. That bed, one day your father will like it. Then start they stabbing him in his neck. They stabbed him in the neck and, in the, and they cut his stuff. wife's fingers yeah. as well, yeah. Then they escape because they want to chop him in order to not bury him. 
because uh, I heard somewhere it was because as well because he had changed the Quran and people were angry. I'm not talking about that one, but I'm talking the process how they did it. Yes, but then, you think that was a, a reason behind it as well? No, it's not only Quran. That's not true. It was economic reason again okay. uh, also because at the end of his age he tried to use all his relation tribes in 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 other countries to be responsible in other countries he he separate the monies of zakat to whoever you like not to to poor people there was a lot of reason then he take after three days he remained in the house with his blood without washing him they took his body in the middle of the night two three with his wife they took him they found him they walking to the cemetery they stoning him then when they want to put him in, in the tomb in, in the tomb they broke even his rib they kicked him. Okay. They so didn't was, let him to bury him. It wasn't ever fitting. Yeah. Burial they, then they took him the body Rapa! and run. Yeah. Run. They follow him, stoning them. Christian, the heckling. Yeah, I know. Bad Christian. They stoning yeah. him yeah. until they went to outside of the Baqi, was well, yeah. cemetery of Muslim. They went to area used to be cemetery of Jewish. Yeah. But I now see. is like a toilet they use it by Muslim people. So they buried him in a cemetery that was uh, for used Jews, for Jewish, but, but now it, was, it was a uh, became a toilet. Exactly. Okay. Okay. So remain like that uh, until the Amawiya time. Right, wrap up. Okay. Then what they did, they said, no, this part wrap will up. must join the Muslim cemetery. Right, the police okay. are coming for you, P. Right, I think cool. everyone's getting kicked out of the park. But thank you very much for your time. Yay. And if you're here, maybe next week we can Excellent. continue. Yay. And just a uh, Quick note, so, so after you kind of left Islam, did you, what was kind of your world view or like, well, we can continue another time anyway, that's fine. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So we'll have a God bless you, Uncle. So thank you very much for your time. God bless you, Uncle. I'm pointing him, Uncle. I'm, huh? no. Soko, Soko Films. Yeah. yeah. Please don't. If my uncle, I'm, I'm, I'm filming him, uncle. Okay. You, yeah. you can so never, you can yeah, never complain so the, the that we're filming you because the camera is, the camera is always on paperwork. Um, and if there's all any, the time, I, yeah. I, I there's no on your so face. Like, yeah, yeah, don't worry. Because about we know how it is for. Yeah. There's a lot of many crazy people out there. So yes. definitely. Oh, yeah, we, we understand that Islam yeah. is not, it's not a religion of peace, uncle. We understand that. So yeah, thank you for your time, and I'm sure a lot of people will take heart in what you've said and kind of ponder upon what you've said in terms of the looking at the Quran and understanding the contradictions with it and also the variances and how it kind of made you think that this cannot be from God you know so on that note we will continue this conversation hopefully maybe next week if he's around um, so I would just like to say on that note we spoke about how could God be so evil in terms of creating people but then keep ordering Muslims to kill them and persecute them capture them and so forth but God should demonstrate a love and relationship because he is the father of creation but clearly we don't see this within the Arabic text so on that note we'll um, end on that note. Thank you paper boy! Praise the Lord!